Hi, everyone. Yeah, hi, Patrick. Hi, Pratesh. Hi, Vani. Hey, everyone. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Pratesh. Hey, Patrick, is anyone going to join from your team other than you? Uh, yes, I think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's wait for a couple of minutes. Sure. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I have updated the agenda. So. Yeah, cool. Let me take a look. Yeah. Hey Shiva, hey Junji. I have updated the uh, agenda. Hello, Bunny. Hi, folks. Can we start or be waiting for anybody else? Uh, I think we can start. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm not. I'm having some problem with sharing. I'm clicking on sharing and then can you see the, my screen? Uh, no, oh. I can't. Oh, yeah, I think something is wrong. It's giving me some error when I'm clicking on share. Anyway, uh, without sharing, uh, if you all can access the agenda sheet, uh, any updates on the security audit? I think from the last meeting uh, we had one fix that need needed peer review right Shive? uh Vani, uh i have a I have a pr that needs uh, uh needs a, a quick discuss here mm. uh, I, i've shared the link in the chat window okay Uh, so Pritesh, um, could you could you review this PR? Uh, and do you still have uh, more questions regarding the timestamping? Yeah, I do have one. Uh, so yeah, I think we are not verifying certificate expiry during verification, right? Uh, for time for, uh, specially, specifically for TSA searching. Yep. Can we either raise a CR in the spec to talk about it? Because it looks like we did discuss it some time back in community meeting and to stand, stand that we want to verify ESA certificate expired during verification. Can we update our specs to reflect that? Uh, 
So your proposal is to um, have a PR in the spec repo to state this. But do you yes. agree with this? Do, do you agree with this? I don't remember. I, apparently, we did discuss okay. some time uh, ago. Yeah, and let me look at let it. me share our discussion here. Um, can I share my screen? Um, yeah. Go ahead, Patrick. Go ahead and share. Uh, how do I share screen here? Okay, the uh, share screen. Is it working? <clears throat> share. Oh. It, at least it's uh, being, oh yeah I, we can see yeah yes you can see the screen okay. yeah yeah um so here this is our discussion back in um april this year so um so uh as 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 stated by you pritesh um so you shared a forum notes about um, the current practice of TSA ser expiry. Um, the fact is it is not validated. And we were proposing an uh, expiry relaxed flag, but uh, after our discussion, um, we think we can drop this parameter because uh, we agree that uh, we don't want to do that. So this this is in our uh, uh, community meeting notes, April 29th. Then go through it offline today and try to remember what we discussed. Or look at the video. Okay. Um, let me also share the the link. The Thank link you. of the CAB forum. Um, here, CAB forum and our meeting notes. Um, but for uh for this PR, Pritesh, uh, this PR is only for uh changing the uh, um the verify of uh timestamping signature after signing. So after signing, uh, it's already in our spec. So yes, I, I think, should be able uh, to approve this PR. Yes. So just, yeah, yeah. It's not blocking the this PR. Just to confirm, in this PR, what we are doing is we are verifying that certificates in TSA signatures are valid at the signing time. Is after yes, yes, yes. It's after signing. Sign it's not verification. Yeah, it's basically current time, basically. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Whether, so it's, it's already in our spec and it won't uh, block this PR. Yep, yeah. I have approved this one. Can you open an issue to check the verify one? Well, let me just do that today. I will do that. I will verify that. Yes. Yeah. So, so this PR is uh, at the signing time since it's not verification time. So there is no, it's not blocking. Correct. Anything, so it can be yeah. approved. Correct. But based on yes. community notes, Patrick, what you're telling is yeah. the TSA cert expiry during verification was kind of agreed in one of the community meeting, but Pritesh is going to look into it offline. So Pritesh, are you telling to look into it offline? You are going to create an issue? Uh, no, I'm not going to create it. Like, I think the public issue, let's get an issue. It's easier to track with that. I will create an issue. Yeah, I think instead of going to go through the community notes, right? I think we need to shift that uh, discussion into an issue. Yep, I, I will create an issue and I will summarize what we discussed and yeah, I can do that. Yeah, thanks, yeah. And besides that, I have another PR that's pending uh, Pritesh uh, review. Uh, it's a uh, it's a quick PR in notation CRI. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I I added a CRI uh, cache with log. So Pritesh, please take a look. We we'll have time. Thanks. Thank you, Patrick.
this is cash, right? It is one of the issue we are looking into. Yeah, this is the one. I guess. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think it is only pending with Pratesh for approval. Otherwise, you can merge the CR, right? Once Pratesh approves this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I see. Shiva has approved and JJ has approved. So. Pritesh, I think this is another thing that's waiting for merge. Yep, I will look into it today. Yeah, sure. Okay. Anything else, Patrick? Any other PRs that you are looking to looking for? Uh, I think there's one more uh, from uh, Junjie. Uh, it's uh, um, the uh, the CIR uh, N2 uh, N2 and test PR. Uh, CRL N2 and testing, is it? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So Can you ping that PR? Yeah. yeah, it's here. 1079. Oh, okay. This is the one. Okay. I think this one, Pratesh will wait while others are reviewing. Uh, so we can get that time stamping one and the uh, cash ones completed from Pratesh review and also the other issue to be created for summary. I think we can prioritize those three. But uh, CRL into end testing, Patrick, I will let others review first and then we can assign to Pratesh. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Mm. <clears throat> Is there anything else for discussion before we go to the milestones discussion the notation go milestone eight is what i think we were discussing right should we continue that so the yeah yeah right um so what we want to do is the purpose of this triage is to understand whether the issue is needed and we need to take care of it or we can close it or we have to move to the future mile, milestone as backlog, right? Uh, so if you, unfortunately, again, I'm still not able to share. I'm so sorry about that. Um, if you go to the link in the notes, the notation go milestone eight, we have eight open issues, which is uh, categorized under discuss. So if you go to the first one, adding note, notary V2 payload validation. Is this something that I think this is something that currently is not part of the spec, right? Do we have to modify the spec and take up this issue or do we have to uh, move it to the future milestone? Or what's the... Hey, Vani. Yeah. Yeah, excuse me. Would you want uh, me to share the screen for hey, the thank issue you charge? So yeah, yeah. If you can share, I, I I'm I'm getting some errors, so I'm trying to share, and I don't think you guys are seeing the screen. Okay, let me share Thank my you. screen, and Thank you can you. continue for the meeting as a moderator. Sure, sure, no problem. We can all discuss together.
yeah if you go to the yeah this here v2 payload validation um so currently in the spec we don't validate the entire payload which is the content type as well so should we retake this for the current release or do we have to move it to the future milestone Let me open the related discussion context yeah. at referencing this issue. 131 comment, right? It was a comment from Pratash. Yeah. I think we should validate this. Uh, yes, we, we already have that. It's, it's completed. But is it like this comment was, this was kind of merged? So was it part of this PR? Uh, no, this comment was added as, like, so this PR didn't, didn't address this comment, so we opened an I, issue to track that comment. Right. That's, oh, it, it says that we need to open a new one, isn't it? Can we verify in code whether this is whether we have a validation for payload content type or not? Uh yes, we do. Can you please share the link and then one can close this? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh it's in the chat. Okay. Hmm. So we can close this issue as completed. Yep. Okay. And Patrick just shared the related code snippet that marks as completed for this issue, right? I think you want to put the first link. That's the correct one, right? Is line number 36. Yeah. Patrick, you as, you, okay. as you are, you are the author of the, that code, would you mind commenting on this issue and yeah. reply to uh, yeah, yeah, that's how. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Do, do one thing. Uh, associate the link to the PR that this code was merged into, and then you you should be closing it. I think that's the right way to do. Okay. Okay. Well, too. Rather than me commenting and closing it, I think you should just yeah. add the PR link to that and then just tell that it was addressed as part of that PR and you should be able to close the issue. Okay. Cool. cool. Perfect. Okay. Let's continue. One second. I just want to make a note of it so that I need to edit part of the notes later, Femin. So. Uh, which one? I've already finalized the issue yeah. of adding payload validation. Yeah. I think so, right? 
Yeah, yeah. No, that is fine. I'm going back to the... Okay. Plugin output size limitation. Says that plugin is an external binary which may generate very large common line, uh, command line output and will be loaded to memory by notation go library. Do we need a plugin output size limitation? I don't see there was any discussions or anything attached to it. Patrick, Shive, Pratesh, do you have any thoughts about it? Do we need plugin output size limitation? I mean, it's good, always good to have this limitation. You okay. shouldn't allow, because in most of the genuine use case, plugin size should not be, like the output size should not be very large. So it's good to have the validation. Yeah. I mean, Better if we can stream and truncate it during the runtime. I'm not sure whether we have issued with whether we have issue for it or not. Is this limitation by default set or is it uh, is it going to be as part of the configuration maintained by the customers, Pratesh? I'm fine with anything there. If we can have a scene disable default, that's also works. A really high default because we already launched with without having no like with no value default has to be really large here or we have to make it configurable but i mean this, this issue really exists we can discuss the solution later on yeah correct okay so okay so the thing is we need to have it so do we do we associate to a what to what milestone? Mm -hmm. Future, I'm not sure. Like future, well, I have uh, we have just one point three future v one dot four. Can so do future. We can do future, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll just say we uh be aligned in the community meeting on 11.11 and finalize that we need to pursue with the limitation option. Option, uh, further discussion with respect to the solution is pending, right? We have to discuss that. We have to come up with the solution. How to? Hi, folks. Uh, I have a simple, simple question. Without the limitation of the plugin output size, will there be a throttling or out of memory issue in notation library or, or in notation CLI? Any potential risks without the limitation? Uh, so it means that the customer should trust the, the plugin. Um, if the plugin is trust, um, all of the output should uh, satisfy uh, the requirement and it should not generate very large content. So currently, um, all of the plugin, I mean, the, the Microsoft Azure Keyboard plugin and the AWS Signer plugin, created by trusted company and uh, uh, I think there is no issue for those two plugins but for other plugins there is no guarantee. So in Java I know if there is too much or if there is a large amount of output it will fill up the buffer and the thread will be the it will pause the thread or thread will be stored. What happens in Golang? Is it the same behavior? There will be buffer overflow and like the process of thread will stop.
I don't know how to manifest in Golan this issue. What? Okay, I, I can talk about Java as far as I remember how it works in Java is there is a buffer, which just allocated space and the output gets returned to so the space and other threads needs to consume that output. If other thread doesn't consume the output, this buffer will fill in and it, the process will stop, it won't crash the application. In Golang, will it crash the application? That's a bigger problem. How will it auto release the memory, right? When it is a part of the memory? I don't know how it works in Golang. Oh. It might be a security issue for notation. If you're saying it will panic and just crash it out of memory, then it's a security issue. Is there a way that we can get the potential output size limitation? I'm thinking that whether we can document any suggestions or security best practice for the customers in the spec, so customers will know what should be the rough limit for the plugin yeah. output size. Do we need to solve it or anyway we have future so we should be able to discuss later uh let's i think we should revisit this if it's a security issue we should fix it because if an application will crash then it's a security issue Can we re can we keep it as in whatever state it was from triad state? Not do it like future or anything. It was discuss. So leave leave it in discuss. Yes, let's leave it in and, and probably want to update your comment also. I I updated the comment, uh, Pratish. Uh, you want to change that? Earlier I said we won't like. Okay. No, I didn't. So I... Right now, I don't know whether it needs to be in future and whether we want to fix it or it's a security issue and we should fix it in next release. Mm. So I don't know about that. I know what you're talking about. How come there will there there should be one more future discuss. So we want to discuss it now because we are talking about security best practices. Uh, I think we should revisit this sometime next night and we should figure out what's the behavior when plugin emits or like there is a like image large output. Uh, I think I can test it later and to test the behavior of Golan with a very large output. Thank you. Oh, who said that? Sorry, I uh, uh, Jinjie, I, I said, Jinjie. Um, okay. I, I, I can follow, follow up this issue and test it. How about we step, assign this issue to Jinjie, or Jinjie, you can self-assign and uh, mention that you will pass the limit of the output size. Sure. I assigned it. Okay.
I think we could continue, right? We can back to the milestone list. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the milestone list. Implementations uh, for signature filtering. Um, this is something according to filter signature artifact manifest documented in signing and verification workflow. What is the intended outcome? Signature filtering works as described in filter signature artifact manifest. In the manifest additional content. Um, I think this is more about filtering the signatures during verification using the certificate hashings. Uh, I, I think, think we I think she said we can start working on this issue. We can move this past. Oh, okay. I think I think it was moved to RC two. I think I think here the the decision whether we have to do the filtering is not a is not a discussion, right? It is only when do we have to do it because I think it was agreed that we have to do the filtering, right? That's correct. It's more about prioritizing the task. Yeah. So. When do we have to prioritize this? That's a resourcing question. <laughs> Chive, Femen, any Patrick or Junju, anything, any, anyone? I'm still reading the original stack related to the future request. We can, we can mark it as future then, right? Yeah, plus one. Payment of, uh, that's what you said? I don't have any concerns if we mark it as future, as we okay. have very limited resource for yeah, the exactly. filtering. Exactly. Anyone has any concern? Okay, I have marked it as future. Okay, let's go back. Checking the media type after fetching the blob is slow. So this is like, is this slow all the time or performance of this check is slow? I think there is a if clause that is written if condition Women, are you showing it? So, yeah. Yeah. I think Patrick, you created this, right? Yes. Um, I think it's an implementation suggestion. Um, oh. Which is correct. Um, oh, but I need to think. I, I need to think about it. it it's, it's been a while. Um, <clears throat> so is this code currently existing in the in the code base? Because you said as part of RC1 release, this code logic, this logic was removed, but you are telling if we bring back this logic, then we have to reopen this issue. So first of all, we need to know if it exists in the current workflow, this logic in the code. Uh, let me take a look. Mm. 
is it retrieval the problem? Because this is just the checking. Is it fetching the problem or the checking the problem? Do we know? Because this issue does not talk about that. It just talks about the if clause, but not who oh, is it fetching the media type from the blob is the problem or it is checking itself is the problem. Um, actually, I, I, I'm, I'm not seeing this logic still in our code. Exactly. Uh, so, so in what condition in the code we are suspecting that this logic would exist in the workflow? Do we know? When we fetch the blob, we check the media type. So is there is there a specific workflow that is dependent on extracting the media type and actioning on the media type based on what type it is? Pritesh Shive, Patrick. Because this is not in the current code. So if it if it is something futuristic that we are being we are taking precaution, right? Then do we know exactly what is the use case scenario for this? So at least we can comment that and we can. I, I think it's happening in current path during verification. If I oh, it's blob. Hmm. It's oh no, blob. it's no, it's not blob. Oh no, it's not. Uh, the date of is 22. It's not a blob uh, blob verifier sign. It's actual container image verification. It's happening. Okay. Right. <laughs> so um, a... um, this 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 issue can be closed. Uh, uh, PR this PR fixed the issue. Um, <clears throat> let me let me share the link here. Uh, this PR fix this issue, so it can be closed. Okay, Patrick, I'll assign this issue to you. Please close. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I found the I found the code. It's, it should be uh, should be line uh, two hundred two. Okay. Uh, notation go two to fix the issue. Yeah. Okay. I have assigned the issue to you so you can close it. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we continue? Yeah. We can mark the last issue as completed and close it. Yeah. The next is uh, a proposal, add signature media types array to remote verify options in notation verify. Think this is, I think, uh, Here, I think Patrick and Pratesh, I think you were having the discussions here when the user needs to resign. We still need this change in the verification process to filter out the old signature. Um, I, I don't think we have this. Uh... Um, uh, we don't we don't have this need anymore. Okay. Uh, signature media types array to remote. I I think we can close it. 
can you elaborate on that uh, patrick why do we not need this so this is to distinguish between the two signatures right the re-signed signature versus the initial v1 signature right uh, i think it was more about mm. Picking which signature you want, signature format you want to use for verification. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's just picking between uh the two envelope formats. I. Yes, and we never implement okay. picking that, right? Yeah, we we we. Let's we decided not feature. to do that. Yeah. What is it? Uh, what it's, is it? Sorry, I missed it. It's closed. Sorry, yeah, I think we decided not to do it, and it's closed. It is not closed. It says it is closed on the above uh, every place that we tried to do that, okay. but the issue itself is not closed. This is a yeah, I think it was more about whether we should allow users to pick one particular format for verification or not, and then we decided not to do it. Hmm. That's where discussion was about. Unless the, so, uh, there's still an issue. <laughs> so I would suggest uh, we we rather close it or we, we move it into the future because uh, the, the PR says uh, we request further discussion in the future. Uh, yeah, so so we, we rather move it into future or, or just close it. I think I'll yeah, move I'm... it to future, right? I think. I think we can close it, and if we if there is a need in future, we can recreate the issue. Okay. Okay. Because we it has it didn't popped up in last two years, so it's better to close it and instead of keeping it open. So, Vani, will you be able to close it? I oh, just closed side. it. Uh, oh. Did you see okay. it, Femi? Can you see it? Yeah, I saw it. It's a fresh okay. comment. Okay. Yeah. The next is the version value of user agent in the signature should be driven by notation release value. This is the versioning, I think, right? Yeah, basically, I think you can use the idea behind was that this would be the agent version used by annotation for all API calls and plugin calls, and it would be easy if we can put the plug put the notation version instead of just saying one dot o dot o. Uh, but it is partially is complete. Yeah, this is uh this is this is fixed by the most recent releases. Yeah, in notation go. So we are voting. Uh, we are voting for the PR uh, to change this value as a release PR at okay. the moment. Yes. So so uh, every time we we release a new notation goal, we update this value. Oh okay. Yes. So 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 this issue can be closed. You said you update the spec. No, no, that's, it's. Not the spec. It's 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 in the center center go center dot go file. Oh okay. Yes. So we, we, we are manually yeah we are manually updating the this value as a part of its release, so this issue should be fixed. Every so time no... new notation go yes. is released, we manually update the version. Uh, yes, y yes, and and we vote on it. The user agent version is manually updated, is what you're telling. Uh, yes. So can we close this? Can you also open the link which is there, which in my comment, the first link? I just want to see what was the fix, which, which was proposed uh, in my comment, comment by me on Web28. 
this yeah. one command there is a hyperlink there yeah uh is the sign a go sunny agent uh, in the comment in the comment in the comment there is a hyperlink right additional yeah, one additional yeah, added this one. render yeah. validation for payload can you open the dev okay uh, would you want to locate in the specific this so a quick question here i don't remember actually just help me recall patrick was here this value is only used for making calls to registries not to shell out for plugin right we don't we don't specify notation version whenever we call plugin is that correct oh, let me just try to open that quickly What's the question here? Do we still need any context? I think I'm missing something, but it looks like this is for shell out. Yeah, I think this is not fixed. You said on February 28th that this is partially complete. So Yes, so it looks I like we are passing plugin version when we are you are telling that envelope generator fix is pending but the actual signature the generator is done so... yeah i think it looks it's more of a when we pass signing agent sorry when we pass the agent version to plugin uh, let me finish the specs Can you pass the agent version through plugin? Uh, what would you We don't pass the agent version. I'm still trying to figure out what was the issue here. Okay. So the issue here is that we never uh, update the uh, the version in the past uh, releases, but we do now. Is that was version only for calls to registries? Or it was something else. This, it looks like it was all. This issue says that the user agent, right, version value in the signature was not done before and it should be driven by the notation release value. Which is what I think uh, Patrick is telling that the fix was made to get the release version every time a new notation go release is made so that the user agent version is also updated, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, we can resolve it then. Uh, so, so should we share uh, a release checklist doc and uh, step five? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can resolve that. We can resolve okay. the issue. Okay. Okay, is our issue? Yeah, can we mark it as completed and close it? I did. Uh, I gave the reference as well, what Shivay gave, and the explanation as well. Can you see, Femin? Yeah, I just saw it. 
Thank you. Thank you, Femi. This is... Uh, uh, we can also resolve this. The revocation check in yes, verification, we, right? Yeah. Yep, we have both OCSP and CRL support. For revocation, right? Verification, yep. right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's closed. Chive, if you are you sorry, Femin, if you can verify. And this is the last one. Uh, payload media type and certificate thumbprint annotation constants are not exported for API consumers. Should it be? What is not working as expected? not exported for API consumers. So we are expecting that these constants should be available through a public notation go and go, go or go, go export. Yeah, basically they are private member of the phone package, not public. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fair ask. It's a fair ask. I think Shiva said that we need to revisit this because general developers should not reinvent the wheel for signing and verification. OCI signature. So looks like I think the user commented that it was kind of we got away from needing to use the media type payload v1. And when they were directly constructing the payload in order to maintain the compatibility with the spec, we wanted to use the library defined constant for the media type data. Since then, we dropped the requirement that led us to building the payload ourselves and therefore no longer needed to access the library constant. Ah. What do you say? So I think they started building the payload themselves. That's why they're telling they did not need access to the library constants. But if we had exported the media type, then they wouldn't have needed to build the payloads themselves, right? Isn't that a heavy lift for the customer to build the payload themselves rather than exporting the constants to them for using access. I don't know. Chivain, Pratish, Patrick, Junjun. Sure that they don't they just need to build the payload from the by themselves. Hmm. But even I am not opposed to the idea of exposing these values because they are called up in the specification. But I agree with you that they shouldn't need to do it. Yeah. So is this something that we have to do it? But I, I don't know. Uh, like, it's only one user asking for it. So how do we prioritize this, right? I think I'll... it's not a, no longer an issue for them, so we can close the issue. Hmm. Because if if we if if some others can open a new issue if they find if they want us to export those uh, variables, so I think we can go ahead and close the issue because 
USA is no longer blocked on it. Yeah, but the but the reason user has given is is also not something we want to pursue for customers to do themselves, right? But this user did it. But also, if you see the user moved on to another project, so I don't know what what is the user doing with the constructed payload as well, right? So I'm not sure if they're using the notation as well. So. Can I go ahead and close and when, or? I, we haven't heard from anyone else who needs this. Yeah. And since for requests, so it's no longer an issue. In my opinion, we can close it. Okay. Anyone has any concern? No, let's close it. I am telling uh, it is no longer an issue for the user. If there is more ask from the customers or users in future for the similar feature, then we will open a new issue and, disc and discuss, right? Okay. Yes. I think we charged all yeah. issues that Mark has discussed discuss in the notation go repo. Yeah, right? it's done. Yeah, yeah. I think plugin output uh, size limitation we already discussed. It is assigned, so for it to be closed. I think we are good. We have only two minutes. Is there anything else to discuss? I think we did a great job. Thank you, everyone. It's it's a very productive meeting today. Seriously, thank you. Yeah, that's a new issue opened by a user in the notation CLI repo. For the mm. timing reason, I think we can also trash and uh, look at this issue offline. It's a new can feature you, request. Can you send for... the link, uh, Femin, so I can add it to the, uh, you know, notes? Yeah. I will copy and paste in our chat. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. I got it. Okay. This is for offline verification, right? Like, uh, sorry, uh, not verification, verification, but uh, to look into it, like, right? Yeah, we can look at, at it offline. It's not an offline signing. It's actually a multi arc image signing and verification. Mm -hmm. You want, uh, you want others to look at it and comment on the issue? Amen. Yeah, yeah, we can take a look and uh, comment on it based on the conversations that I had with this user in the issue. It seems mm -hmm. like notation already meet meet their requirement and they they just want to sign and verify the image index only. Uh correct. Because I, I already tried that. Uh it's working. Oh wow. Yes. So we we already support this uh feature ask. Okay. Okay. If the okay. user does not want to sign and attach the signature to the child image manifest, I think um, the current notation, the latest release of notation should meet their needs. Oh, um, if they want to sign the child image, that's a different story. Uh, um, yeah, so yeah. But that seems not not needed oh, at okay. the moment. Oh, okay. If they want to yeah. sign the image next morning, okay. Then, then we should support that already. Oh, so, okay. Thank you, Patrick. You already solved it. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the clarification. I will comment and reply to this user. 
and see whether they can verify the image index in their env environment. And by the way, this user is also an AWS cast customer. They shared that they are using the AWS sign-in plugin with notation and ratify. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you all. You have a great day. And uh, I'm sure it's evening for some people. Um, good evening and good night. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. 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 Bye.